So now, instead of using a variable, I'm going to use this argument, right? To pass in just like the way that we try to do here, right? Two, right? Three, right? I'm not going to say that here anymore because I don't want the user to go into my program and put number two. User should be able to put any number, right? And it should just output. So what I'm going to do, this is just the name. I can just change to X or I can just leave LGS. That's fine. But <clears throat> if I say zero, zero, that means the first argument that the user enter in. Okay. And then <clears throat> let's go to pass that argument in. Okay. Like now, if I run this program, let's run first. <coughs> it's going to say, let's rerun it. Okay. It's going to say array index of our exception. Why? <coughs> let's say if it's string, by default, We don't have any values that are passing in yet. All right? So that's why it's not going to take anything. It's going to say, I don't know what zero location there, right? So we have to set okay, an argument to pass in. Go to edit configurations. And this is where you pass the arguments to the program. Okay, normally if you don't have IntelliJ, you have to put that in the command line, console like that. You type like Java and the program name computer config. And then you put like two. That's the argument. But this is an IntelliJ. We pretty much just passing it right here. Two. Okay. So let's apply this and test by rerunning it. There you go. So we get 2.1.1. And it makes sense. It's 21 because this is string. It's not an integer. So it's going to put number 2 in front number 1. Now, if I want to make 3, I have to convert string into number then we can sum because you cannot add string you can only concatenate mean put it next to each other like that because they thought this is like a two like it's letter two and one letter one right so how do we convert string to integer we're going to have to rely on this library again this ingredient has to have the tool for us and it has the like I said, how would I know that chef will need I'm not a chef, so how would I know that if I want to make a cake I need to buy a milk? I'm not sure if I write or cheat uh butter. Right? Same I'm a programmer, I know that if I want to convert integer, I need an integer class, which is inside here. If you scroll down, they could, they could have an integer right there. I want to convert to integer, I need integer, right? And parse it. That's why this is all the experience. It's just like, I'm not a chef, I don't even know how to make cake, so. And you have to say parse int. <clears throat> but I can teach you to be a programmer by First, you want an integer, okay? If you have no idea, you start to ask people, if I want to make a cake, do I need butter? The good thing about programming is you have Google. Right? I'm telling you, you use this all the time. If you are not experienced programmer, you have to say how to convert 
string to int in Java. There you go. Integer parsing. Now, you may not know, you start to read. Like I said, Java Doc is a good place too. Once you pick up, hey, I have to rely on integer class, let me get into the Java Doc. Integer Java Doc is going to tell you, like this is class, all classes have document to it. Then you start to read all the methods. Remember? If you understand math, this is like math. Function. You have to know that if I pass x in, what do I get out? We have to know this in gradients, right? Inside. I'm going to get 2 out. But if I use gx, and gx is going to be x plus 5. If I say I pass 2 in, I'm not going to get 3 out. I'm going to get, what, 7 out. How do I know that? I need to read inside here right which is being summarized remember this is a function function is the method method is a summary in java you call method these are all the argument that you pass in as return whatever you want like bit count return the number of one bits in the two's complement by representation which at this point you may not know what it is because you don't know what's two's complement you learn that in CSC 205. But let's look at something that we understand, like parse in. Right, we said integer.parse. There you go. This is string. I pass the string in. Parse a string argument as a side of decimal integer. So, parameter parse is like you convert that into a integer. Decimal integer, right? So, that's what we want. If you want to get more details, click on it. It's going to explain even more details in there. But this is exactly what I want. So this is a string. You see that it's string, right? Passing as string. It should convert into integers. And it's going to add. After it's integer, then it can add. So we get three out. <coughs> We have learned what is class. Like I just wanted to show you these all are classes too. When you double click, it's a class, right? This has the methods. These are the methods just like what we do. We have public static void main, but you learn what is synchronized, what is yeah, static we've seen it. We will learn more in this class what is static. And that's the name of the function or method. We are called method in Java. Now, how do I packaging it? Like this one, we package it, right? Java.lang. Very easy. Just put that word package on the top. Right? So, I want to package this. Like under comments, right? You start to, these are comments, right? So, this is comments. Comment means you can write anything like, Sometimes you want to make sure you won't forget what this computer config for. I just say uh, demonstrate right how to use like system dot out and scanner something like that, right? Just comment. If I want to package it, I just say package. <clears throat> and now you may see when you do this. You normally package name is based on the organization. Like I can do EDU, education, MDCC, and CSC 200, something like that, or 201. All right, so just make it easy. Organize your file, right? That's the package. It's going to create a folder. <clears throat> and of course, you're going to get an error that Telling that if you hover over, it's gonna, do you want to move this file into that folder? Okay, let's look at the folder location again. You see that? This is under source. When I create a package, it's going to create edu folder inside source, it's nvcc folder inside edu, and csc2 inside that nvcc subfolders, 
and put this file into the application. Okay, let's see if I want to do it. Let's look at this too, right? Do you want to move? Move it. <clears throat> there you go. This one's show as a package. But look at the structure. It move it. So package means how you organize your file. Once you package it, you can distribute your package just like the way they do. You can create a library too. We distribute it and people download and reuse it. So for example, I'm a chef. I have recipe. I can just distribute my recipe. Right? People can just use your but this one is even better than, easier than the shelf. You don't have to make anything. You can just import my package and then you run your application using mine. You don't have to do anything. You just need to know how to configure it, right? Put it together. And like, for example, if I make, think about when you write an application, I want to make an application like Blackboard. I need to have authentication modules when it's still logged in. So I can package this as logged in modules. Right? I ha have to have the faculty modules where faculty can use to post contents. I can have package for all that. And then we combine together. That's why we have so many packages, so many jars to build a Blackboard application. Right? So we can assign each developer to do that one, and then we combine them together and make an application. <clears throat> so this is how we're packaging it. And if you want to create a jar for it, it should be very easy. Once we create package, if we want to jar, we're going to follow this step. <clears throat> OK, file. Like we try to do something like that, right? Jar, and then you can distribute it. Like some people, they sell their file, right, to use to sell a jar. <clears throat> but open source, you can just get it for free. So we will go to save all. Okay. So we have main method ready. So I'm gonna to go to step two, step three. Like you say run driver, I mean we, we run it already right there, right? Let's see computer config. Let's check what is wrong. Oh, because we put in a package, it says it's not found anymore because we, we move into a package. So let's see if I can fix by running from here first. OK, we can fix it. So we have to, it's pretty much just has to that have that package in front now. See that? Now, where did to now? So what I try to do, I just make a simple already exist. Let's see. We cannot have two different things. Okay. So let's rerun. Okay, fix it. When you move the package, you have to change the config to include that package name in front. All right. So now we get it. So we got to do file project structure. C4 file project structure and we want the artifacts and once you get to artifacts click green plus button near top of windows we add and then select jar there you go so we have jar All right so 
Now we just need to rename it. Sample 